。必修見ながれもの。Hello, I'm Shumi Nagaremono, the hobby drifter, and today we're looking at the Final Fantasy VII Advent Children Advent Pieces Limited Box Set. I know that sounds like I just started pulling words at random out of Square Enix's Easter catalog, but no. This is a real thing. Final Fantasy VII was huge. So huge that it nearly single handedly popularized Japanese RPGs in English speaking countries. Before Final Fantasy VII, all of my friends laughed at me for sinking hundreds of hours into games like Shining Force. After Final Fantasy VII, those same friends started weighing the pros and cons of modifying their PlayStations so they wouldn't have to wait so long for the English version of Final Fantasy VIII. Final Fantasy was so popular that fans loudly and sustainedly demanded a sequel, and Square Enix obliged us with a direct to DVD movie, which, while not what we wanted, and you bloody well know it, Squeenix, was awesome. In fact, I'm going to list it as my favorite video game movie of all time. Although, really, what competition is there? Biohazard? It's fun, but it's only slightly more faithful to the source material than the Super Mario Bros. movie. Advent Children was released on DVD in 2005 in three versions a rental version, a retail version with some bonus material, and this borderline obscene box set. Now, a word on Japanese DVD box sets. I love these things, and they're so expensive that looking at the price tag often feels like a swift kick to the solar plexus. But, up until recently, all DVDs were much more expensive in Japan than in the US, especially anime. It wasn't uncommon to see anime discs with only two or three episodes. Run $50 or more. So, when you have a DVD set that compiles, say, a half dozen Marvel movies or the entire Alien and Predator franchises, you can see where the high price tag comes in. But this? This unattractive brown box contains one movie. And has a retail price of nearly 30,000 yen, which was about $300 back in 2005. It's a strictly limited edition, but it's limited to 77,777 sets. That means that Square Enix figured that there were nearly 80,000 people willing to slap down $300 bucks for a movie. And whatever extras are in here. And what extras are in here? Let's take a look. Well, that's、uh, certainly an impressive box. It's thick, durable cardboard, and it's made to look like leather. But for $300, I'd have preferred if it actually was leather. But that'd have just been silly, right? So let's get this lid off. What am I even looking at here? Well, these look like the discs, so let's start there. Yep, these are the discs, just regular DVDs. One case for the movie, one case for the special features. They couldn't have put them together in one case? Oh, who am I kidding? If you gave a hot damn about practicality, You'd have just rented the movie and been done with it, so I guess fair enough. What is this? A bank? Is that some kind of joke? Hey, thanks for giving us $300 for a direct to DVD cartoon. Here's a bank to maybe help you be a bit more responsible with your money next time. No, it's not a bank. Pop off the top, and inside there's. A hat? Nice hat. 
black with a silver logo on it. That's classy, as far as promotional baseball hats go. Here's a small black box. What's inside? Oh, a, a nice metal keychain with the same Cloudy Wolf logo as displayed on the front of the box. That's quite nice. It's stamped with the number of the set. This set was number 50,047 out of 777, seven, 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 seven. You know, Square Enix, in the U.S. at least, companies give out keychains and baseball caps with their logos on them free for promotional purposes. You figured out how to get people to pay hundreds of dollars for them. That is some amazing, next-level genius marketing there. If I weren't just a disembodied voice on the internet, I would applaud you. When I showed you the contents of the box, that was a bit of a cheat. You see, there's a bunch of stuff hidden behind the black trays. This is the entire script for the movie. The whole thing. It's entirely in Japanese, so most of my viewers can be forgiven for not being overly enthusiastic about it. But I think it's great. It reminds me of the storyboards included with the End of Evangelion sets from the 90s. The keychain and hat should have prepared you for this one. A tasteful black t-shirt is also included, and it completes the stuff that most companies give out for free trifecta. See, Sega? You gave away those nine nine ninety nine t shirts for free. If you had charged hundreds of dollars for them, maybe the Dreamcast wouldn't have been your last console. Also included in the set is a four disc version of the international version of Final Fantasy VII, which is basically a Japanese language edition of the version that English speaking countries got. The, the one with emerald and ruby weapons. The fourth disc is essentially the strategy guide for the game. But this box really passes into avant-garde arthouse territory with this bit. It's a display case for the three Final Fantasy VII game discs that you can frame and mount under included glass. Final Fantasy VII is a work of sophisticated brilliance. And while there have never been any problems getting Final Fantasy posters, wall scrolls, or prints, this allows you to display the game itself as the work of art that it is. The final piece of the set is a large black box. It's labeled as Cloud and Fenrir Limited Edition Non-Scale Model. Let's take a look inside. Oh, wow! It's Cloud's motorcycle from the movie. A near-perfect realization of the 3D model shown in the film. It looks like it roared right off the screen. The plastic is a bit soft, which gives it the feel of a high-end garage kit. And I mean that in a good way. This was made specifically for this set? That's amazing. I can't believe that the company went to all the effort of sculpting and producing this unique product only for a limited edition DVD set. And wait, there's more. Oh, look. It's the best Cloud Strife action figure that has ever been released. Well, as of 2005, anyway. Exquisitely sculpted and painted, the figure even includes an extra hand attached to the movie version of Cloud's iconic Buster Sword. Now that, that is one heck of a display piece. And only available to those who are able to secure copies of this set. Those lucky seven, T-1777. Now, I understand the hat. The hat says, hey everybody, I have an amazing Final Fantasy Advent Children Advent Pieces limited box set at home. Or it would if any of the buyers of these sets ever actually wore any of the apparel items included within them. But you could do that. Much like Square Enix could 
have released a sequel to Final Fantasy VII that was an actual video game. But they didn't. Not in 2005, anyway. But they did release this wonderful box set. And I'm glad they did, because I really think this thing is awesome. I'm Shumi Nagaremono, the hobby drifter. Happy hobbying! He is Shumi Nagaremono.